Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about some uh, ready to use 3D models in 3ds Max. Uh, that comes with installation of 3ds Max. You don't need any uh, external resource for these. But uh, I want to make an introduction. Now, right now we passed editable spline. Uh, we did a lot of tutorials about that and we are going to go into edit poly, editable poly. And there's the I guess the longest subject in 3ds Max because it's foundation of 3ds Max is why you do uh, mesh modeling or polygon modeling. You can use these techniques in any other software like Maya, uh, any other mesh modeling software like Maya, Cinema 4D and other stuff as well. Uh, of course we are going to use 3ds Max. But before we dive into uh, Edit Poly, I wanted to just show you some ready to use models in 3ds Max like windows, like doors, like walls and stuff. Uh, so let's go through these in like five or six lessons and then uh, we are going to dive right into edit poly and then uh, in the rest of these lessons we are going to discuss edit poly modeling and the technique you can model anything uh, in any mesh modeling software. So whatever, let's uh, stay on subject right now. Let's talk about these uh, ready to use uh, 3D models in 3ds Max. So let's go to create geometry. Under here we have sub uh, title called windows and you have six window types in here uh, let me just ri right away show you one of these like owning uh, window for example you can just select this uh, click and drag to create the base uh, length of the window then release and you need to set a depth in here uh, and then you will set the height of the window uh, so I click and drag click and click again so you need to do uh, three clicks uh, don't miss that uh, if you don't do it the command will cancel itself so you won't be able to have a model a window model in your hands uh, I know that yours doesn't look exactly like mine uh, I'm going to show you how to change the properties uh, of this if you while this is selected if you go to um, the modify tab you will see that we have a height a width and a depth uh, value in here you can play with these and then we have uh, frame width you can see that we have we can make these parts thicker or thinner from here uh, you have the vertical uh, thickness or width where you can play with these parts and the thickness value is the thickness of the windows uh, inside as you can see the case case of the windows inside here let me play with this again and then we have a glazing thickness, which is the thickness for the uh, windows uh, or the glass parts of the windows. Uh, we have the rail and panel thickness. You can see that we can play with these parts. You can change the panel count from here. You can just make this uh, a only with one panel. And if you zero this uh, open value out, then you can see that I have uh, I guess this will match uh, what you are seeing in your viewport right now. And uh, you can see that you can play with this value and open the window a little bit and then change the panel count in here and create different or more interesting windows. So now that we know these, let's delete this and try out the other types. Casement, let's play with this. I've created one and now I can change the I'm not going to go through all of these again uh, you can play with these values again and let's see the difference between the uh, first one and this one uh, you can see that we have a panel width a, an open value in here yeah this is more uh, classical uh, of a window I guess you can have two uh, panels as well as you can see and you can just change the open values or you can just flip the hinges the swings swing sides of the windows as well like inner windows or outer windows okay so let's delete this one as well we have fixed i guess uh, if i remember correctly this one doesn't open yeah uh, there's no open value in here as you can see but we have these uh, panel counts and this is a very traditional window as well we can we do see this type uh, a lot i guess uh, let's try with uh, the pivoted window. Uh, I guess most of the difference you see is in here, the uh, opening direction and stuff. 
uh, if you you can change this to be vertical you can see that this will open like this I, I guess I see this less than the previous ones uh, projected window let's see what this one does okay this is kind of like owning but uh, these open in different directions and sliding windows this is uh, common as well you can see that we if you open this it will open this way or you can just this uh, de-check this hung uh, option and you can create this type of thing okay okay so now that we know what these uh, commands do let's try to use these in a real uh, world example uh, uh, this is a uh, sketch like drawing of course it's not realistic or anything but I want to bring this up because uh, I want to use these in a real uh, house. Let's try to create uh, something like this uh, with the walls and everything. Uh, I'm going to hit Ctrl Shift A to leave this on top. You know that I, I've been using pure ref for uh, these references. If you double click on an image, it will just zoom extends. I can just make this a little smaller as well. Okay, now let's uh, start with the uh, base of this. What I do is I know uh, a average door is uh, the average door height is 210 centimeters and uh, two meters and 10 centimeters uh, rather. So what I do is I just measure this with my eye and then try to figure out this height from this one. Okay. So whatever I'm modeling, I, I try to understand one of the, or I try to find out one of the dimensions and then I try to measure rest of the image from that dimension that I figured out so let's say this is 210 uh, if you if I put this uh, of course I'm doing this imaginary but you can do this in Photoshop or whatever you want but I recommend you to eyeball this stuff because you need to be real quick uh, while modeling stuff so you need to do these things automatically most of the time so let's say this is 210 and if I just put it here it, it should be somewhere like here 210 210 uh, which is 420 and then we have a 150 like thing in here. So if we, uh, I put all these together, I will end up with uh, 570 centimeters. Let's roll that up to 600 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a rectangle, go to create shapes, splines, rectangle, create this rectangle here. And let's just type in 600 by 600. And I'm going to hit W to move this to the origin. Then I'm going to add an edit spline on top of this. Hit 3 to go to the spline mode and select the spline. And let's create a thickness from this. Let's type in 20 and we will end up with this shape. Then I can add an extrude on top of this. And let's set the height to 300 centimeters. Uh, this is uh, only one story in here. If I want to put the second story on top, I can just copy this up. Uh, but first let's... Uh, start with this then I'm going to create uh, the rest of the building okay now we have uh, two methods uh, we can use to open up holes on the wall uh, I, I will recommend you to use pro boolean for this example generally I don't really recommend uh, pro boolean but we don't uh, still really know edit poly so let's just go with uh, pro boolean for this example to use pro boolean you need to create uh, the uh, object to create the opening width so I'm going to just create this box in here and I'm going to set the length to 110 110 and 210 okay and then I'm going to just place this wherever I want let's say I want to be here or you can just go with re uh, exact dimensions you can hit s just move this corner to here and then move it in minus 110 centimeters for example uh, you can place it like this as well if you need exact dimensions uh, I'm doing add vis visualization most of the time so uh, the exact values exact dimensions are not that important for me but if you're an architect or an engineer then of course these uh, will be more important so I'm I wanted to show you how to do that as well okay so our door opening is it's uh, is at its place so I'm going to just select the wall Go to create compound objects pro boolean and i'm going to make sure that subtraction mode is uh, operate under operation subtraction is uh, selected and then i'm going to just click on start picking and then just cut this out and you can see that we have an opening for the door 
Right, uh, let's create the opening for the window as well. Uh, I'm going to create another box. And this time, let's say we have a 250 width. Uh, this one doesn't uh, isn't that important because we uh, don't use this for dimensions. Uh, I recommend you to make this thicker than the wall. So uh, anything above 20 is uh, good enough. Uh, by the way, I just realized that I have, I'm working with meters, so let's change the uh, dimensions to centimeters. The reason uh, this is left in meters is I'm I'm also using Unity. Uh, when you're creating models for Unity, I recommend you to use uh, meters because Unity understands that uh, the generic unit as uh, meters. So uh, whatever, for now, I, I went back to centimeters. Okay, let's hit S again. Move this uh, to the corner in here. Again, let's uh, move this in 100 centimeters or maybe 80 centimeters or maybe even 70 centimeters in. I'm just trying to make this in the middle in here. And then let's uh, move this up in the Z axis. I'm going to move this up 50 centimeters. Okay. And this is the height for our window. Maybe you want to match the height of the window with the door. So uh, maybe you want to uh, bring the height down a little bit. 160 would be good enough because this was 210. We had 50 centimeters in here. So 160 will be left on that edge. Uh, this is an old habit, by the way. I'm pulling this out a little bit because old Pro Boolean uh, used to cause problems with this. Uh, now that we have a thickness in here, it will work better. Uh, I guess new Pro Boolean solves that, but whatever. We all have habits, I guess. So let's go to the Pro Boolean again. Start picking and let's cut this out. Uh, sorry, uh, I should select the wall. Go to modify. We already converted this to a Pro Boolean. And I'm going to just select start picking and then just pick this and cut that out. Okay, cool. Now let's create another wall on top. Actually, I should copy that before I uh, use Pro Boolean. Uh, there are ways uh, getting around that, uh, but for now, let's just create a new one. I don't want to complicate things for you. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go to rectangle, hit S, and just draw a new rectangle. Apply and edit uh, spline on top again. And let's outline this 20 centimeters, then another extrude with 300. And you can see that we have a new uh, story. I can just turn the colors to gray uh, so that it's not that confusing to look at. I guess, and I guess the second floor, ah, no, okay, okay, this is not the floor line, probably, okay, whatever, let's create uh, uh, two more openings for these windows, let's go with boxes again, uh, this time I want to create a, win a box with dimensions of 50, 180, 200, maybe this is a little bit too much, uh, let's change this to... 120 and let's change this to 150 I place it I will look at this again but for now let's leave it like that I'm going to just just hit s again move this to the corner maybe this time let's move it this corner to this corner and let's move this in 150 centimeters maybe 120 centimeters and move this up eight oh, sorry in the z-axis I'm going to move that up 80 centimeters, okay? And I'm going to hit Ctrl V this time to create a clone of this. Then I can just move it to the other side or you can just input values again. Let's input 200, maybe 250. 240, yeah, this is good. Now I can just again apply a Pro Boolean start picking and let's cut these out okay we have our walls set now I want to just uh, place some windows to the openings okay now this window looks like the one we used uh, the fixed one I guess okay let's try try that out if it doesn't work out we can change it I'm going to hit s uh, just be careful about this because placing windows is a little bit tricky what you need to do is you need to start from this corner and go to this corner in here. Just release your mouse, 
create the depth and then create the height. Okay. That's what you need to do while placing the window. Let's change the color of this as well. And we, you can see that we already have a similar window to this one. You can of course play with these, like let's create, the, uh, let's change this to have two panels, I guess, or two, yeah, two by two panels. And maybe increase the depth a little bit so that we have uh, some parts sticking out in here that will make it look a little bit more realistic. Yeah. And maybe we can change the thickness uh, for the panels uh, with, uh, sorry, this width value is that. So I'm going to just change this to four uh, so that I can make it four by four. Okay. And let's uh, create a copy of this with Control V and then move this 240 centimeters. Uh, that was our distance between these two windows. And let's create one in here as well. I'm going to just go to fixed window again. Uh, I'm not really recommending to use these uh, instead of modeling these windows. Most of the time you will need to model these. But these are good base uh, objects. What you can do is, I'm going to show you one cool thing. What you can do is you can add an edit pulley after you model, create this. And then you can hit four, for example, and select the faces and play with these faces. Okay. You can edit the model after you created it. So uh, these are good base uh, objects. So uh, I recommend you to think of these like that. Okay. Let's uh, decrease the panel. Uh, segments to one by one and then we have this window as well okay uh, okay in the next lesson i'm going to show you how to create the door so uh, let's leave the door uh, to the next lesson and then maybe we will add some more things and uh, finish up this model and it could be a good introduction to edit poly as well by the way so let's save this Control s And and then let's call it scene one, and then we can just close this up. Okay, thanks for listening, uh, everybody. Uh, I hope this was useful for you. If this was useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.